It's been a difficult month for many in Sonoma County, including college athletes. Sports director Dennis O'Donnell has a story of a soccer team that's endured more mm. than wildfires, power outages. Yeah, uh, it's certainly a challenge, Veronica. The Sonoma State Seawolves have one eye on a national soccer title. They have another eye and their coach. One team, two battles. Students are back on campus in Ronard Park after the PG&E shutoffs kept the women's soccer team off the field for a week. Murphy centers it up and in. But it didn't stop Finally, them from the rolling. Seawolf Undefeated in conference mistakes. play this year, Harrington one of their best marks in program history. I think our goal this whole year has been to get to the CCA championship, and we're really kissing it now. Now it's hugely satisfying. <laughs> Head coach Amira Salzman Dunn has set the bar high for her team in a season that's been incredibly low for herself. What was a routine kind of visit to the doctor ended up changing my life. Um, and I got that call about 30 minutes before training. A rare aggressive form of breast cancer discovered only a month ago. Are you listening to me, Sam? Hit it lower, but hit it harder. We need more defenders than attackers. Still processing the news, Salzman Dunn prefers to be one place, what, what on the field, the last and nowhere else. I would never think of abandoning ship. That's not in my nature, ever. And if I did do that, then the diagnosis wins. When she told us, I don't think there was a dry eye in the room. But the news doesn't hang over the pitch. In fact, it's business as usual for the Seawolves. Salzma Dunn will start treatment next week, and she expects to lead the team through the postseason. I'm surprised that she isn't scooping out on appointments, but I'm glad that she is going to everything she should be. Really having to be the person I asked them to be, to be brave and to be courageous and to not make excuses and to show up every day. But this isn't about winning one for the Gipper. Salzman Dunn is clear on that. This team is good even though I have that diagnosis. This, the, with the season they're having, they were always going to have that season. It could be a pivotal, po positive moment in my life. And maybe in some ways it will be a gift moving forward. To make things more complicated, Salzma Dunn and her family were evacuated during the Kincaid fire, and in many of her initial appointment, appointments were moved to Santa Rosa, from Santa Rosa to uh, Oakland. The Seawolves begin the playoffs tomorrow against San Diego.